Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to do another episode of checking out some of your guys' solar systems. So yeah, this is um, part 130 now, or episode um, 130 of this series. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, we're getting to the uh, 130s now. But yeah, we've got um, two systems to do today from the users Cyrus Plays in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending this in. And also you guys, if you want to send in your own simulations as well for these videos, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, and you can just upload your files in our designated um, chat for it. Or you can also let me know the name of your system on the workshop in the comments, but please note I could lose it in the comments. It could go in the spam folder. So yeah, please keep that in mind. Um, if I don't see it, I'll never get around to doing it. But yeah, the Discord is a safer way and it guarantees um, me getting around to doing it at some point. But yeah, that was all that saved, guys. Let's get into this. So yeah, the Taurus system is what we have got today. So let's go ahead and uh, search it up. So here we go, my sims. Oh, here we go. All right. So yeah, we've got system one and system two. So I believe they're like a part one and part two. So here we go. Right. What have we got? Okay, so system one. This should go first. In this solar system, an intelligent civilization known as the Tyr have sprouted up on the fourth planet of the solar system. Unfortunately, they are wasteful beings and have polluted their planet's atmosphere. This wastefulness has attracted the attention of someone else. Right. Here are some info about the planets. Right. Okay, so anyways, the star first. Looks like a red dwarf from those stats there. But yeah, there we go. Right, so yeah, the first planet. So we've got Revere. Right, the Tur word for fire. This hot Jupiter has a very interesting coloration. Yeah, I really like the way that looks, actually. It's also disturbed the orbit of Sonara, which it migrated inwards towards the frost line. Right, so there we go. See a gas giant that's uh, moved inwards there. So this is the second one. So there we go. This planet here is the one. So, or the one that um, was disturbed. So here we go. See so the Tur word for wanderer. Sonara is a small planet that was formed in the iron rich in a solar system that um until revere's gravitational gravitational influence affected its orbit to be the shape it is today so yeah there we go so we can see the orbit is slightly altered there so yeah pretty crazy one there all righty and yeah guys apologies as well if um i do crackle in my voice or anything i'm not feeling too well got a bit of a bit, a bit of a headache on here but i definitely wanted to film this and get this out to you guys today so um yeah there we go but yeah apologies if my pronunciation or my reading is all off because yeah my uh, vision's a little because of the headache right but yeah, there we go. So the next world out here, there is no information on this object just yet. So maybe maybe they'll be in the second part. I don't know. But yeah, there we go. So there is that planet. Okay, so now we have got Gras Ditara, named after the turf phase for the one who doesn't belong. This gas giant is literally shouldn't be here since the inward migration of Revere should have prevented any more gas giants from migrating inwards. Okay, all right. And it's got one moon as well. So there we go. So yeah, one moon. Alrighty, right, and then it's also got another object over here. So is this a micro moon? Yes, it looks to be. So there we go. Alrighty, so looking good so far. All right, what have we got next? Okay, so next up we got Futir over here. All right, so here we go. So this one's looking quite good. So this is the homeworld of the Tyr. It is beautiful planet with blue vegetation. Unfortunately, it is polluted by the tier as they rapidly modernize hence the beige colors sky and clouds so yeah there we go there so we can see it is slightly ruined but it's still got a nice sort of color um, underneath there as well but yeah there we are so that's the civilization in the system and then it's also got um, a moon of its own there and a space probe of some kind so here we go so there it is there and that is um, orbiting the planet so there we go looking good all righty so there we are so there is Futir dump so now moving on to the next one, we've got Molir over here. So any data on this one? So a semi-hospital world, Molir is mostly frozen over world that has life. So there we go. So no no city lights or anything, so it doesn't look like it's been colonized by the guys from uh, Futir. So there we are. So yeah, mostly frozen as we can see. Oh, it's got a nice, actually, no, nice set of rings to go over it as well. Yeah, there we are. Look at those. So let's just turn everything off. So there we go. It's a nice set of rings around it. Cool. Alrighty. So there's more there. Now we have got this next one over here. So here we go. Yeah, I'm not even going to try saying that. I don't think uh, my head right now, if this headache and my pronunciation in general, will be very good at saying that. But yeah, we've got this beautiful looking one. I really, really like this. So a beautiful blue gas giant. Yep, couldn't have said it better myself. Um, it's beautiful blue glow has inspired many turbines. Hence the name is Turby and the inspiration of Tur. Right, cool. And then, right, so what's this last thing? DPP Mothership. Divine Planet Protectors. I think, right. Interesting, and then we'll go through the moons quickly um, here as well. So there we go. So they're all over here. 
Right, I believe that is all of them. Right, so where is this thing? Oh, and there's one more object over here as well. So this looks to be a... Is this a dwarf planet or something? Yeah, yeah, dwarf planet. Okay, and it has also got some of moons as well. So there we go. Righty. So there is all of the planets. Okay, so... Oh, and there's also a comet over here as well. But where is this mothership thing? So it says uh, DPP motherships. Divine planet protectors. Right. Zoom out. Maybe it's really far away. Ah... DPP mother... Oh, class is short. What's this? So, zooming all the way in. Right, here we go. Okay, what we got? So... Oh, oh, okay. So, two pyramids. So, these are two destroyers. And a mothership. Okay, interesting. So, these guys... I'm guessing they're heading towards the uh, guys who are polluting their planet. Right. So, interesting. So, the divine planet protectors. Right. So, there we go. So, part two. What's this? So, right. What we got here? So the Tara System 2, this should go second, right. This takes uh, place 200 years after the first one. Okay, so a now it's a former Hattable Solar System. Okay, what has happened here? Right, so um, in Hattable Solar System uh, is now made unhattable due to the Tur. Right, okay, so the Tur are the ones who were on that planet last time, okay. Under our Divine Control, oh yeah, because this was the... Okay, so the Divine Control. So this is from the perspective of the Mothership. I believe, the mothership, or whoever's in that mothership and all those destroyers, this is from their perspective. Um, control, and we are trying to rebuild these gods, okay, it's the planet's gods, right, to be their four glorious former selves. Unfortunately, there are a few heretics, rebels, who resist our teaching. So I'm guessing the heretics are the, the Tars from the uh, planet they polluted. So regardless, here is some info about some of the planets. So red trails are under rebel control, right. So... Okay, where are we? So, four hours here. So, this is the home base of the heretics. Is a uh, planet of dry sands and sandstorms. Okay, so this was the one that didn't have data last time. Uh, it does not deserve to have those filthy rebels on its body. So, we've stationed a diamond class destroyer near its orbit. So, I'm guessing there's one of those pyramids. So, there were the, yeah, the pyramids. Oh, there we go. So, it's over here. So, there's the pyramid. So, that's in orbit. A similar orbit there. So, looking at the other planets, these look to be the same. So, I'm guessing it's the ones with the red trails that are slightly changed. Okay, so what's going on at Grass Titara here, then? Okay, okay, so... Solid, okay, this is a, this is a moon, okay. So, heretic control um, is the child of the gas giant uh, Grass Titara. It is a rocky god. We have placed another destroyer in the influence. Okay, so there is another pyramid. So, there's, a, there's the other pyramid, okay. So, there we go. Alrighty. So moving on now, so few tier over here. Okay, so this is the this is the one that was colonized last time. This is where the race came from. Oh, look at the state of it now. Right, a once um, beautiful hatter world. This god has fallen from grace and now is a polluted hellish shadow of itself. And all of that is because of those um, wretched tur. Right, uh, we are trying to restore it from its former glory. Okay, so it's got a bit more there as well. Um, but yeah, there we go. So and it's oh, this is where the mothership is, and there is a terraformer as well. So the divine. Or the, yeah, the planet protecting, the planet protectors, yeah. So that's what um, these were, right. So there we go. And there's also another object, C3R35, a strange interstellar traveler of unknown origin. So where's that? And I'm guessing these are all, yeah, they look the same. So I'm guessing, yeah, the rest of these are the same. Well, we've got a red trail over here. So this moon is now occupied with a red. Beautiful gas giant once again. So there we go. Go. Oh, no, here, okay, here it is. So this is the object of unknown origin. So this must have been captured by this star. So it must have been drifting in space. But yeah, there we go. So it's actually a series. But yeah, there we go. So very small. And then the second dwarf planet. Now, so there's now two dwarf planets. We've got the series one, and then we have this one. So they are, that one's still chilling over here. This one's also got a red trail as well. So there we go. But yeah, other than that, that looks to be everything for this system. So yeah, overall, really, really liked um, the concept. I really liked the story behind it as well and having like a part one and part two of the same system i like that that's really really cool and yeah both of them were sent together really really enjoyed it and yeah massive thank you um to um cyrus place for sending this in so yeah he sent this in on discord um yeah so again guys if you want to send your own simulations make sure to do it on discord preferably because that is the um, better way to do it but yeah other than that a massive thank you for watching today's video guys make sure to subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 15,000 subscribers let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's um sort of two-parter with the um, two systems. But before we finish up, we will get a lineup of all the objects. I think my favourite gas shine has got to be the blue. Oh, that, that looks great. But yeah, the other one as well, very, very nice indeed. That one, though, is definitely my favourite. Really, really like that. As for the rocky planets, 
I think I will go back to the part one to review the Rockies. So, where are we? So, blah, blah, here we go. So, the Rocky Planets. I think my fair, my favourite was this one. Yeah, so, Molir. Yeah, I like that one the best. But, yeah, this one this one would be a close second a few tier here. So, yeah, that world completely changed um, between the systems. Yeah, that is definitely my second place. So, yeah, there we go. So, there'd be my top objects. But, yeah, this one takes the cake for me. Really, really like the way that gas giant looks. But, yeah, there we go. So, that does it for this system. So, yeah, with that all said, guys, again, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. And, yeah, guys, make sure you all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.